Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Crown of Gems family. This is your girl Sky checking in on the one, two, one, two. Anywho, I miss you guys. Hey, gems, how y'all been? I hope all is well. First and foremost, I want to say God bless you all. We love you all, and we're so forever grateful and thankful for all of you guys' support. And that comes from the bottom of our hearts. Um, today's topic, I wanted to talk about uh, social media influencing. Um, also, becoming a social media influencer, um, the greatness of it, the dangers of it, and the ups and downs. Also... One last thing. Should we or should we not bring our better half on social media to become an influencer as well as our children? So let's just dive right into it. Y'all know how I do. So again, this is Sky, and welcome again to the Crown of Gems family. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about social media influencing, becoming a social media influencer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So becoming a social media influencer, um, it has its great benefits to it and also has its downside. So we want to kind of talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, the everything. So I feel like becoming a social media influencer is a great step. Um, to the next uh, thing that you may have planned in your life. So if you have a mission that you're on or a message that you feel like you need to spread to the world, um, or some people use their platforms for many things, cooking, um, eating, dancing, preaching, performing, whatever. You can use your platform for whatever your talents may be, or uh, also open it up as a family channel as well, where you open up your private life and um, make it into like a, a family show. But with all that being said, I feel like that we, first of all, I, I want to talk about some of the bad things of social media because we always hear the good things of how it can help you prosper and, and it can you know, but you have to utilize these platforms in the correct way for that to happen. Okay. So I do kind of want to just jump right into the, the bad of everything too. Um, I feel like on social media, you have to be very, very, very cautious on, um, what you post, what you allow others to see. Um, also, um, sharing too much over sharing, you know, you should never share, personal things about yourself, your address and where you live and um, your locations, what you will be at that time, especially if you don't have like security and you're a huge influencer at that. If you don't have um, security around somebody that can help protect you, um, need be. So I don't think that um, posting too much personal information about yourself is very wise. I think that uh, we all have a right to be protected um, and safe our families, you know, so, um, and not put in harm's way. So I think that oversharing for me on social media, I don't agree with it. Um, I don't think that people should do it. I don't think people should tell the city and state that they live in or, uh, uh, where they work, or I don't think that any of that is smart, but if that's what they choose to do, I can't tell people how to run their platforms. Um, so I definitely like to talk about that as well. Um, just oversharing, period. Um, you could overshare too much of yourself. You could overshare too much of your relationships. Um, you could um, overshare too much of your children and it can all backfire on you. So is it smart to overshare your platform with the world? I guess it's no different than celebrities oversharing their children, but most celebrities try to protect their children. Okay. Most celebrities try their best to protect their children. They don't overshare too much when it comes to them. So I think that that's not a good idea to overshare, um, with the world, especially, um, if you're a influencer who has children, um, social media could be a place, a very, very evil, uh, world 
Um, no matter if you're doing positive, somebody will always try to find the negative or the bad in you to point out your flaw and forget the speck in their own eye. So we always have to worry about bullies and um, just evil individuals that that have maybe very bad things going on in their life and social media is their outlet. And when they come put other people down, it makes them feel uh, good about themselves. It makes them feel regular. It makes them feel like they're a part of something. So don't get too caught up on people on the internet. If they come under a video or under your live feed, bullying you, um, saying mean things to you, putting you down, saying things that's not true. You have, we have to learn as influencers to just do away with those kind of people. Don't even, don't even, don't even give it any light. Don't give it no light. Don't call it out. Don't do anything. Period. Okay. You don't see big time celebrities under their videos or anything that they post on social media arguing with people in the comments about whether this is true or whether it's a lie. So get to that point as an influencer on social media. Be ready for it. Be ready because everybody is not going to agree with you. Everybody won't like you. But what I will say, you will have more if you're a good person. You will get more people that loves you on social media and that love will always outshine the hate. So pay more attention to the, the good comments, um, the people that's being more supportive of you, because the more support and the more love and positivity that you have on your platform, that will always outrain the negativity. OK, because that's if one person says something negative about you. And you feel the need to approach that. You, other people are seeing it. Wow. They actually responded. So guess what? They're going to say something negative because they want you to respond to them. And then the next person is going to do it. And it's just like a chain reaction. So you just have to let it go. Be the bigger person and be prepared for it. Be Just know that it's going to happen once you become that influencer. Everybody's not going to like you. Um, also, you have to remember that um, coming into being an influencer, I feel like Everybody on this mission of being an influencer, of having a platform um, where you can share with thousands of people that you have to be very cautious on how you move and what you say and what you do. Right. Because we're here to actually help people and um, for others to be inspired by us in a positive way, not a negative way. You have to remember if your mission is to be in movies one day. So this is your platform to um, train you. You know, you need a little bit of training. So I'm using these platforms to help me do that. Right. Or a bit promotion or just build myself up. Remember that if you start feeding into the negativity and other people see it, they're not going to want to work with you. The bigger up people aren't going to want to give you that platform. So now you literally canceled out all the bigger chances you had. Right. Because you decided to entertain the negativity. So always remember that. Unless these platforms you're using to be negative, remember if you are on a mission to become an entrepreneur, to become a bigger social media influencer, a brand ambassador, whatever you choose to do, open up a business, a boutique, whatever you may choose to utilize these platforms for. Remember, it's for a mission. It's not to stay in the same place. It's to grow. It's to continue to be better so you can be better for your family and put your children in a better situation that you've ever than you've ever been in. Right. So that's another thing that we have to pay attention to. And also, I want to dive into um, allowing bringing matter of fact, bringing on not allowing, but bringing on our better half. Is that a good idea or is it not? That's another thing. Fellas, ladies, everybody that's in a relationship that decides that they want to become social media influenced together. You have to remember, we are on a mission together. And you have to remember, it's going to be people that's hateful, people that's bullies, people that don't want to see uh, black love, uh, true love. It doesn't matter what color it is. Love, period. They don't want to see it. So therefore, any chance that the enemy has um, to come in and destroy what you've worked so 
hard for, they will destroy it. Okay. Because it may be something in you guys that they see in them, but they can't do what you do. So now instead of being supportive of it, they would rather be hateful of it and destroy everything that you work for, whether it's your business, whether it's your relationship, whatever it may be. So we have to make sure we stay prayed up. We have to make sure we know that we are on a mission. This is a true mission that we're on. And it's not for games. It's not for play play. It's not for none of that. We are on a mission to be better people. We are on a mission to make sure our children will never have to want again. Okay. And also to be able to help the world as well, help other people as, as well as our family. Right. So coming into this social media world, is actually a good thing if you can utilize your platform the right way. And we have to remember that it's been so many relationships fall all due to social media. If it was handled off of live, if it was handled in the privacy of their home, just like when you in there making a the baby. Okay. <laughs> so the world is not watching when y'all making love, when you're in your better halves making love, they're not watching that. Right. That you don't have cameras set up everywhere to see you guys in action. Making love, making children, building a beautiful bond with each other. We have to remember that our relationship didn't start on social media. Our relationship started off of social media. Keep a private life. Off of, if you want to be an influencer, what you're better have, that's okay. You guys are building a legacy. I'm down with that. But when you guys deal with private things, it's up for you guys to deal with that privately. Literally, genuinely fix it with each other. And if you decide to bring other people in on that, guess what? Y'all worked it out. Y'all fixed it. And then now y'all able to talk to other people to tell people, look, this is what you should do, not what you need to do, but this is what you should do. Or maybe just give them a little advice on how you guys worked it out. How were you guys able to get through that hump? But stop bringing people, stop bringing your relationships on social media because everybody don't want to see you go to the top. Everybody don't want to see you win. It's some people that want to see you as a single woman. Okay. They want to see you as a single woman with a child because they're a single woman with a child. It's some men out there that's not in your position. They don't want to see you win. OK, we can't overshare with people. And I feel like personal things that you go through on the Internet is those things. But things that you deal with within your private relationship, that should stay private. And, and you can't even talk about it until it's healed, until it's fixed. So if you're going through your whole relationship on social media and everything is being played out on social media, you're not giving yourself time to really genuinely get down to the uh, to the bottom of the issue because everyone's in your ear everyone's in their ear everyone's in their ear and now you have all these different opinions now you have all these people that have put stuff in your ear and now you're listening to all of them instead of listening to god instead of listening to yourself instead of remembering the mission and now your relationship is destroyed. And now you're on here bashing one another. Now, guess what? The mission is no more. No one, no one is going to want to work with you anymore. You did too much. You said too much. You're not going to see high profile celebrities get on social media and do it. You're just not. They have too much to lose or whatever the case may be. So if your mission was to become, if your mission was to if your mission, excuse me, was to become that entrepreneur, if your mission was to become that actor, if your mission was to become whatever you choose to be, now you have to remember how you responded to these evil individuals that never cared for you or about you from the jump. Your life is literally their entertainment. T.I. couldn't have said it any better. Okay. So they want to see this continue to pray out. Once you play out, once you get to praying these things off of you, once you get to praying these people away, watch how much the support you got now doing dwindles down to basically none because they're there to make a mockery of you. They're there to laugh at you and they're there to be entertained by you. But they want to see you right where you're at 
because they're not where they want to be. And so they want to keep you where they're at. So always remember that coming into this social media world, influencing you have to come with a mission. It cannot just to be playing games, playing around. You come in here to have better for yourself. Remember that. Also, the same thing go for um, when we bring our children on here. We have to make sure that we're protecting our children as well. When, we're, when we bring our children onto these platforms, they should be protected at all times. Everything should not be overshared when it comes to your children. As parents, as their protectors, we should know what's enough to put out to the world and what's not enough to put out to the world. What we should put out and what we shouldn't put out. Not just, oh, we're influencers. We share everything. Absolutely not. Because this is your duty as a mother and as a father to protect your children. And other people aren't going to love your children the way you love your children. Those are your babies. Okay. We can't expect just because we're influencers and we putting our children on these platforms that other people are going to respect our children. Other people are going to have nice things to say about them because that's not the world we live in. Okay. We live in a very vicious world to where they don't care if they attack a baby. Okay. Your baby can get attacked on these platforms. So I definitely wanted to talk about, you know, um, the downside of uh, social media as well as the good side. There's great aspects of social media, but you have to make sure you remember the mission because before you picked up your phone, before you decided to create whatever platform you're on, you knew that there was a mission behind why you did it. Okay. Some people just do it to do it, but you weren't one of those people. Okay. You want it better for yourself. You had talent to show the world, but just not the opportunity now you get to be independent and do it on your own. Okay. Stay focused on the mission. Do not get sidetracked. If there, if there is things that you may want to address that may went too far and things like that, do it with your management team. Do it with the people that you know love you. So that way you could put out a statement the way you want to put the statement out and not the way that the blog's going to put it out. We always have to watch what we say and what we do because now we have the world looking at us. Now we have the world paying attention. So I just needed to speak on this because, you know, at the end of the day, I know a lot of people want to get involved in social media and we just have to like know how to move. We have to know what to do. It's just no different than moving in your real life and in your regular life off of social media, you know. I, I say don't live a fake life and then get on social media and portray to be something that you're not. Just be genuinely who you are. That's why I don't get on social media and portray that I'm someone who I'm not because I'm not. I'm not perfect. I'm not none of that. But what I do know is how this stuff works. That's how that's what I do know. And if you want to win, you have to remember I'm on a mission. OK, because you can be a winner from this. This won't be something that you get on here and you feed into craziness and now you're just stuck in that. Remember that. Don't feed it and it won't grow. And different doors will open up for you. Different opportunities will op open up for you. Just stay on the mission. A lot of people start on the mission and then they just, I don't know what happens. They lose their way and, and, that, and that's what's keeping them stuck. But once they come up out of that, them as well would be able to thrive and everything like that because you don't have to be who you were yesterday every day that god gives us a chance to wake up that's a day that we can change that's a day that we can be a better person okay so don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do it don't ever let nobody tell you that you're going to always uh be the same person when you know deep down inside that you want better for yourself don't ever let nobody keep you in that place of destruction mentally or physically don't let no one do it because you can do it you will do it and you will be a better person i said it and god said it OK, so every day that you wake up, always remember to put God first. And then remember that you are loved, you are respected, you are wanted. OK, and do not feed into nothing on these platforms that no one has to say about you. Remember that you are on a mission to be a better person, to make sure your family is good and to be able to work for yourself as an entrepreneur. And not have to worry about working terrible long hours 
all the way up until you like 60, 70 years old. You can actually make something of yourself for these platforms and um, the world will open up to you. And remember, when the world do open up to you, everything is not going to be for you. Be OK with turning certain things down. You don't have to jump on everything because it seems like it's good. OK, and that's kind of the message I did have for today is uh, becoming a social media influencer. Um, the good part of being an influencer, um, the bad part of being a good uh, influencer. But I feel like in it all, as long as you stay on the mission and stay focused and know who you are, you will not allow nothing to get to you. OK, because you've been through it and 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 been through it. Been through it. Anyway, you've been a, in a position to have better for yourself. Please take that run with it. That way your kids don't have to want for nothing. You can set them up, you know, the right way and everything be everything. But with that said, I always thank you all for tuning in to our Crown of Gems family. I've been talking for about 20 something minutes. My throat is dry. I need something to drink. But I hope you guys really did enjoy uh, this video. And um, again, I'm always thankful for you guys. I love you guys. God bless you all. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a single thing don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the crown of gems family and on that note peace out i love y'all